So I have recently proselytized and like kind of without meaning to. So like Adri's been like recently like she's kind of just been like a good sport in a sense of like she'll just like be willing to try shit out. Like I don't know if I brought this up uh, uh in the last couple of weeks, but um we we were talking about we were talking about a game that John and I talked about after recording a couple of weeks ago. Don't don't want to get into that. <laughs> don't don't want to <laughs> have my heart hurt again after that conversation. But like my my conclusion, my personal conclusion after that conversation was like League of Legends is like an okay game like MOBAs in general are pretty good because like how the objective is built into the game and and like there's no kind of way around it so to speak there, yeah. there's very little w- way to find success without actually playing the objective as opposed to overwatch where it's <laughs> like i don't know if it's still the case i kind of don't give a shit to find out but like i remember when i stopped playing it was kind of just like oh the the payload fucking moves slow as shit and then on top of that it kind of doesn't fucking matter if you're on offense or defense you just go as far forward until you hit like the enemy's line and then you scrim it out and then one side wins and then that kind of <laughs> yeah <laughs> is, is what decided the match. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and okay. like the the same could be said with a lot of other shooter games. I'm not saying League of Legends is a good game. I'm just saying that MOBAs are kind of like well designed as In a concept. Way, yeah. So I explained that to Adri and we started playing League of <laughs> <laughs> oh no um to be fair we're we're like how do i put this we are um quarantining ourselves we are playing custom private matches with ai like we're very disinterested in actually playing against other people because holy fuck <laughs> League of Legends is not. <laughs> League of Legends is not. <laughs> yep. It's 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 just not. That's it's not a place that anybody should find themselves in. But all all is that to say, um, I I will like occasionally just like mess with her basically, and I'll be like, all right, so what you want to do? We playing Destiny? We playing Fortnite? And, and like. Just full on teasing, like not really like anything or, or this or that, but Elf felt coming out last week kind of like set off just guilty gear being in conversation. And one, one of these days I just was like, yo, guilty gear. And she was like, yeah, sure. So <laughs> we've been playing guilty gear. And now that we're playing guilty gear, like I'm playing Guilty Gear and I I still like my girl May, but I I realized what I the way I play May is not the way I should be playing May. The way I play May is as if she had like armor on her normals or her specials or some shit. <laughs> You're playing her as if she was a giant uh, a, a, a giant man from India who wears a helmet and, and fights for <laughs> fights for his 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 nation. Yeah. So ha- having realized that, I said, you know what? Fuck it. Let me just pull the bandaid off. I, I think we talked about it a little bit last week because we brought up Hotashi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I've been fucking. I've been playing Potemkin. And, like, things have made more sense than ever, man. Like, 
I, I'm still nowhere near John's level or anything, but I I don't know. Like things are understand. Like I'm understanding things. I yeah. I know how to lab now. Hell yes, dude. No, when you find a character that shit just clicks with, it's ooh, it's magical, dude. I so like um as we as we discussed last week, Alpha has Rekkas, right? And yeah, um, in her Rekkas, one. I think it's the second one. She like uses the rifle to like vault over a bit and uh, she's like the, airborne. It, yeah, it's the start the starting one. Oh, it's the starting one? Yeah. Okay, you're right. Cause I okay, the reference I saw, like it started with the like command you can, dash thing. Yeah, you can like re- so like that's you the can first Rekka. Them. And then you can do the overhead or the low. And then you can do the finisher, or you could just go into the the first one again. Like you could just keep going back to the first one until you hit the finisher. <laughs> so the 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 funny fucking thing is, um, and and mind you, I the reason I'm telling you this and not keeping it is because I've realized I don't have the execution for it as Potemkin. I think if I had, if I was solid, fucking solid, I could either backdash or push block. But I think backdash is ideal. If I backdash, yeah, it depends which follow up they do. That is so true. The, the, the Elfel Arms race has you can't. Okay, so if they do the little hop and you block that one, and then they go into the low, you can backdash that one. Um, I don't know if you can backdash the overhead. You might be able to. Um, what I've seen is backdashing the starter. And you're, you're yeah. saying that, like, I wouldn't have enough frames if you did the overhead. Yeah, so, like, the starter's where she gets the, like, what like whatever normal they do into the hop. Um, so, from the normal into the hop, there is a gap, so you might be able to, like, backdash that. But I know if you end up blocking the first hit of the Rekka... Depending on the follow up, there's different punishes. I know for sure the backdash one, uh, the the low. If they do starter into low, I know you can backdash if you block the starter and they go into the low one. The arms race part comes in where people have discovered. <laughs> um, you can option select, so you can option select the low into the ender. So like fuck you. What'll basically happen is if you try to backdash it and the low starts coming out, the game will register, "Oh, like they're backdashing and it'll immediately start the 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 finisher, which is the shotgun, so you can shoot their backdash attempt." Um the other thing you can do that's funny Eat is shit. you can you can do that same premise to option select the backdash, but instead of the finisher, you do her super. <laughs> <laughs> and so if you're doing the Rekka series, you input the low and you also overlay the input for super on top of it. I just want to Potemkin buster you. And if they backdash or so- if they do anything, it's just like super instantly. It's like, hey, hi, what's up? Yeah, fuck it's, you. It's so funny. It's the arms race because then everyone's like, okay, well, then I'll fake you out and I won't backdash. And then you'll input that and then I could get this. And it's, <laughs> dude, it's, it's so funny. Watch your fucking ass, because I'm <laughs> I'm gonna get to the the point one of these days where I'm not gonna have to backdash. I'll just fucking heat knuckle your ass from the first one. I'll t- I'll tell everybody, um, if you block the first hit of Hereka again, I think depending on the follow ups, but if you block the first hit of Hereka, it's like all but guaranteed you can do 6p which is everybody's like universal anti-air into like a special um okay okay i can cook with that i think it's weird it's weird though because it's like the move has different frame data so the starter has the starter has slightly different frame data depending on what point of the reka you do it in so if i'm looking at this i hate it I if barely the, understand. If it's the starter and then you go into one of the follow-ups, it's like, I mean, they have to have like a fast 6P. Because um, I th- I think uh, like every time on reaction, if it's the first Rekka, Ramlethal can do 6P into like her Rekka. But 
for every other character, if they try it, so like if they do the first Rekka, the little hop, and then they do one of the follow-ups, if they go back to that hop, as long as you block that hop, and and the follow-up afterwards is like free, because they're like they're like omega negative now that you've blocked the second one. Um it's just it's it's kind of weird. It's a little oppressive of a move, but also like I don't know if that I don't think it's like really overpowered for her. I so. will sit in the lab. Yeah. I will sit in the lab to fucking it's make funny. sure every <laughs> time I will I will heat knuckle your ass. <laughs> I will Potemkin bunker your ass. I I will make <laughs> sure you will never put a grenade on the ground. It will never be safe for you to do so. Oh, that move is dumb, too. We're not going to get to that. <laughs> that move is dumb. What I will get into is that I am an asshole. Because I definitely, like, launch day or day after, hit Amelia player. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dear listeners, e- look, I had to do it, all right? Let me plead my case, dear listeners. <laughs> Okay, so the Milia player I played against, mind you, I was already kind of ticked off because I jumped straight into ranked instead of the instead of the playground or whatever it is, the park. I, I jumped into ranked with El Fel because I was like, F it, let me just learn this whatever. Immediately first day, because obviously it's a new character, I got shot down like three floors. So I was on like floor seven. So I was like, dude, all right. So I'm trying to fight my way back up. And there's a Milia player who kept doing the milia mix-ups on me like the the stupid like two damage into like the mix-up side oh pick a side into two more damage into knockdown into oh pick a side two more damage just that annoying milia thing yeah it would it it would not have i would not have gotten so mad i was like fine i was like all right like i kind of get the pattern that they're doing like i can block it like i feel comfortable enough to block it now like i think i can do this they hit me with one and they started teabagging and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so what I noticed was that every time I did the Rekka, there was one time on accident I input the Rekka twice. I did the starter and then the starter again, and they didn't punish it. And I was like, huh, that's funny. So after the teabag, every single game, no matter what button I hit, like I clipped them with whatever normal, RC forward, close slash uh, first Rekka and then just repeat into infinity. And I was like, I'm just going to keep doing this. Their risk gauge is going to max out because they don't know how to stop it. And I know they're going to get mad. And then I'm going to hit them with the low and I'm going to RC catch their bur- Like I was, I was BMing and then I beat them. And then they got off the they got off the little play thing, and I saw them running to like running around the room to go to another setup, and so I purposefully chased them and hit rematch because I was like, no, 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 no. You're fucking <laughs> evil, man. You're not getting away from this. I did. I I did not lose to you just to have you teabag and then lose to like th- like no. <laughs> this this took all of five seconds in the lab to figure out how to punish and you didn't punish it you just want to do your stupid milia stuff f you <laughs> <laughs> after Dude. after like three times of them leaving the plat the platform and i chased them to another platform i <laughs> at some point in there i ranked up and i purposefully stayed on the floor because i was like no i have to <laughs> se- i have to send a message <laughs> And after the, I think the message was sent where after I beat them in, in one game, they like, they didn't give me the two out of three. They, I just, it was one and done. And then they just like, they disappeared. They popped out of existence. And I was like, oh, they, they must have rage quit or left the lobby. Damn. Absolute so, hater behavior. Dear, dear listener. It was hater behavior, but no, I was not going to, I was totally fine. The tea bag. I was not going to stand for that. You don't get to do that. I think that's respectable. Like I, I had to say, I was, what's the fucking Joker, the Joker lied from a uh, dark Knight. Uh, it's to send a message. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I, I bring up guilty gear as a fucking preamble to, uh, <laughs> John, do you know who Jay easy is? <laughs> I saw this tweet. Yes, yes, I know who <laughs> Jay okay. Mega Man drops January seventh. <laughs> so yes, um, <laughs> um, it, it, 
absolute cliff notes version, right? Uh, on TikTok, there was a trend from a couple of talented um, musicians that they they put out a song. Um, I all I can do is, is like to help you look for this song and this this video subsequently is it it starts with like hello christ i'm about to sin again and uh the whole like video that they like shot to promote this song was them like sprinting full speed at a camera and then like the the person with the camera is running away from them and it's just like auto stabilize it's it's really really good very eye catching yeah. immediately and so <laughs> that 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 trend started and then like someone got onto the trend this this J Easy person single mega man out January 7th yeah um and like he he did the same thing in an abandoned mall but like wearing like mega man's like buster right yeah and i I legit haven't even heard the audio to the TikTok. Never once. The actual song is like, okay, I've heard the original song because I keep hearing, they keep mashing the lyrics up with different game OSTs. And the most popular one I've seen is uh, the song from uh, from Super Mario RPG. It's like, I was never book smart. I'm money smart. Makes me more intelligent. That's what it is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's from Mario RPG. <laughs> okay. The lyrics I, are from the actual j Easy song. Right, right, right. But then they just mash it up with different game soundtracks. And like, one of I, them is I knew that was like Mario. Okay. Yeah, it's so funny. Okay, like I, I'm not, I'm not here to debate his artistry or or whatnot. Like rap music, I, I don't go there. Like I, I, I'm well out of my like wheelhouse to like speak confidently yeah. about it. I, I'm, I'm fucking white. I like Tyler the Creator. Like, come on, nah. <laughs> a, a lot can be said about that guy. But, but to get back. So he's really interactive on Twitter, this yeah. Jay Easy guy. And, you know, pe- people reaching out, asking him shit, and he'll just answer and whatnot. Yeah. And I think someone asked him about Smash, and he said, like, yeah, I like Smash Ultimate. You know who my main is. And then the fucking Guilty Gear community got their fucking talons into him. And he was like, all right, I'll check it out. Yeah, someone was like, yo, check out Guilty Gear. It's rad as hell. And then he was like, all right, like, I'll check it out. And then he released the video that was like, yo, to those of you, like, I have the video here. It's like, yo, everybody recommending me Guilty Gear videos. Like, I've been watching all the lore videos, and someone sent me this video, and it's actually pretty good. And it's the fucking, it's the, it's It's the whole story mode. Yeah, Delilah, it's the whatever. it's the Delilah story mode, the second story mode, uh, like the the anime episode from the game. <laughs> Somebody just sends him that, and then he like quotes Delilah at the end. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, nah, I I don't know if she is the gear, but she hella guilty, <laughs> dude. He fucking gets it. He absolutely gets it. I'm, I, I cannot wait for fucking his, his next single out June 7th or ju- fuck it, July 7th. Fucking Soul Bad Guy. Yeah, Soul Bad Guy out July 7th. <laughs> I'm calling it now. Shout, shout out to wait. him. I don't know if she's the gear, but if she was, she's definitely guilty. Damn. Now I have to put that in a Guilty Gear song called Bridget from Jay Easy two hours ago. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> yeah. Jay Easy said trans rights confirmed. Yo, hold on. They're trying to get him to go to a Smash tournament. And perform, <laughs> perform Mega Man live. I saw that. Dude. And, like it's something that like it it it's gonna happen, right? 
Yeah, and then right after he tweeted, where the locals at? <laughs> Dude, we need J- I- J-E-Z better perform Bridget at Guilty Gear Top 8 at Evo, I swear to God. I will fucking... I, w- I will protest Jabali <laughs> so fucking hard if it doesn't happen. Yeah. Like... Oh my god. Why Why shouldn't it? Why shouldn't it? It should. Man, all right. <laughs> as much as as badly as I want to be a J Easy Lore podcast, <laughs> we <laughs> we are in fact Pair BC Fadcast, the One Piece Fadcast where we review the latest chapters of One Piece and have different One Piece related discussions every single week. My name is John. My name is Franz. So back to Guilty Gear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so back to Guilty Gear. I don't know if she's a gear, but she hella guilty. <laughs> Bars. It's such a funny fucking line. Dude, I, bro, okay, hold on. Where is, where is Jay-Z from? We need to connect him with a fucking, uh, a femboy-ass Bridget cosplayer and a fucking, like, absolute, like, Oracle of Delphi ass, like gorgeous six foot three uh, yes. trans woman who also cosplays Testament. Yes. Right? Like, we we can connect them. We can help Jay Easy. <laughs> if you, we dear are. listener, <laughs> are a guilty gear cosplayer, don't even reach out to us. Just reach out to the man himself. I, I'm pretty sure he's receptive. I'm pretty sure he's just out. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Enough guilty gear. Although I'm really glad I didn't talk about getting into gotchas again. Oh god. Because <laughs> oh, no, I have guilty. discovered. <laughs> I don't want to talk about tech. <laughs> I don't want to talk about guilty gear and gambling in the same podcast because I will end up talking about the pachinko machine and <laughs> it will not be pretty. <laughs> Okay, okay. No, no, no. There was lore in the pachinko machine that's, like, vital to understanding Exert's story mode. No way. Anyways, I digress. Yeah. Okay, okay. It was like, you, like, needed to play the pachinko machine to understand. (laughs) Wouldn't it be crazy if there was the same in the strive fishing? Oh, that that'd be hype because the fishing is cool. The fishing is cool, and it, it just like, reminds you me get of currency um, for free. I I saw it somewhere on Twitter today. I guess there was a theater screening of like the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya like movie or something. No, 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 we cannot. This is and my at the end of a, allegedly according to multiple different uh Japanese fans. At the end of the screening, there was, like, a message that was on screen that was, like, oh, um, keep your eyes out on the official, like, social media accounts for Harvey Suzumiya for a special announcement or something. And everybody was losing their minds today, and somebody was, like, I've been through this too many times. Guys, it's a freaking pachinko machine. Like, don't, don't <laughs> give them what they, don't give them what they want. <laughs> like, okay, hear me out. I, okay, (laughs) fucking (laughs) the disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya, the movie, right? Oh, okay, that, the movie's the disappearance. Yes. I'm, I'm a, I'm a Haruhi Suzumiya, uh, virgin, I don't know shit about it. Dude, okay. I know the song is straight bangers. Dude. The song that she sings. Shouts out to Aya Hirano coming back into the industry. Hell she yeah. did nothing wrong. She just likes fucking. Yeah. Oh, man. If you want to hear more about Aya Hirano, go, go to our Discord. By the way, she is voice acting Lilith. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait, like One Piece Lilith. I was like, <laughs> in my yeah. head, I was like, oh, Dark Stalkers? Like, what the <laughs> hell are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, if only. No, yeah. yeah dude, uh, fucking... that's crazy. Yeah, she's back. She's That's fucking wild. back, dude. But um, thank so, God, dude. 
Thank God. I I know Oda had no say in it, but in my head, I'd like to just think that Oda was like, dog, like bring her back, dog. <laughs> yeah, why the fuck not, fu- man? <laughs> yeah, she, she's getting a little Bro, bone action, dude. Who cares? She's the archetypical like tsundere, very fitting for Lilith. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be, dude. That's gonna be so good. Um, but I I bring it up because like, I okay. Aya Hirano, I I just I actually really love Haruhi Suzumiya. I ha- I haven't yeah. experienced it since I've been hurt so long ago. <laughs> but I the disappearance, I was so hyped for it that I got a like the shaky cam of all shaky cams. I it is burnt oh. in my fucking skull. The specifics of the shaky cam, right? So imagine th- this is someone who recorded it in a movie theater. Okay, sure, whatever. So imagine from a movie theater perspective, right? Now take that perspective and turn it um negative 25 degrees. So the <laughs> left corner goes up. Negative oh, 20 no. negative 25 degrees, right? Yeah. And then you shift it a little bit so the top left corner is just cut off <laughs> and add in a little bit of like jacket rustling noise and someone coughing every 20 minutes. No, th- sorry, not someone. You are coughing every 20 minutes. <laughs> as you record it. <laughs> as you record it. That is, dog, if someone can find me the shaky cam of Haruhi Suzumiya, I. I would at least love to see a clip of it to see how close my description is. Oh my god! But dude. like, it, it, it's the kind of thing where like, Haruki Suzumi is a very weird story in a lot of ways. Um, classic Japanese light novel from the time, but the main character Kyon is kind of just like a he's just a guy, and everything's happening to him. And the the most agency he has in the story is, like, being kind of just, like, a positive, like, role in a lot of things, like, in, in the narrative. But the disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya has, like, a five-minute soliloquy where he is talking to himself. He, like kicks down his own head into like a school desk and is like talking down to him and just like forcing him down and like not like curb stomping but just like keeping him down and just like talking all this shit and and like he he gains agency to himself and agency in the story for the first time it, it like very very interesting impactful yeah. to me i Cannot be hurt again. I, I cannot. I will not be hurt again. I at this point, I think what's most likely to happen is it's going to be a movie adaptation, three-hour movie adaptation of Endless Eight. Oh, maybe wasn't there? Okay, if I'm not mistaken, um, was there not a was there not a new novel in the series? There was. Like not, I don't have the heart to yeah, read it. Yeah, not like immediately recently, but I remember at Last least within the past yeah. five years. Yeah, something like that. I remember hearing about it and people were nuts. So maybe it's like a new adaptation of that. I I think it's possible, but I think there there's yeah. like one novel still missing, or if not mm, two. Yeah. Um, you can tell how much I've distanced myself. <laughs> uh, yes. But like. Dog, I I legit think the funniest thing would would be for it to be a adaptation, a movie adaptation of Endless Eight, where it's just <laughs> the same eight episodes, back oh to back god, to back. Yeah. <laughs> Some Shout scenes are to... different. <laughs> oh my god! Hold on, let me find it. I think it was uh, is it Red Red Bard? Is the channel? Yes. Yes. They did a video. That's the only reason why I know about this on Harvey <laughs> Suzumiya and, and Endless 8. 
And, like, it was just every week they just kept posting this, like, this, it was like, <laughs> listener, it would be like every week if we, for like eight weeks, if we just released the same episode over and over with, like, very slight differences. Like, I... th- to my to my understanding, that's what happened. And it was all part yes. of, like, the story of, like, oh, they were stuck in, like, a time loop. And slight differences is, like, very, very real about it like yeah (laughs) i yeah this video is great it talks like people like on on for it talks about like people on forum boards and stuff like losing their minds every week like dog like what is going on like i i have seen screenshots from (laughs) like 4chan (laughs) reacting to that shit People wanted to die. Oh, dude. Like, to death, bro. (laughs) To death, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. (laughs) They should do it again. Fuck it. Yeah, F it. You know what? In theaters, an eight-hour movie experience. (laughs) Like, endless eight hours. (laughs) Oh, my God. We, we, We gotta. Yeah. But, you know, let's Ayahirano ourselves back in so yeah. that, As you that can announcement tell, one piece is on break yeah yeah but that announcement comes through jump festa which always comes around this time of year yeah and yeah there there's I got a <laughs> quite a bit bunch. i got a bunch of ones um i'll blast through them uh bleach showed off the trailer for core three part three of the Thousand Year Blood War arc. Shouts out. Should be good. Because I think part three and four are where we're going to get like a lot of the anime only like new stuff. Which is going to be cool. Um, I could have sworn he said this last year. But uh, the Jujutsu Kaisen author Gege was like, oh, this is going to be my final jump festa while Jujutsu Kaisen is still in serialization. So, in other words, like, I'm finishing it in 2024. Damn. Um, which, I, I could have sworn he said that last year, but maybe he was just, like, alluding to it, kind of. But, um, yeah, pretty pretty funny. And then, it wouldn't be a One Piece podcast if we didn't go over Oda's, <laughs> Oda's uh, classic Jump Festa message. Which is funny this year, because he does the same thing as he did last year, and everybody's memeing on it, and it's just, it is hilarious. Um, <laughs> so like, uh, he's talking like, oh, like everybody who came to Jump Festa, like, um, like so many things happened in 2023. It flew by, uh, film red had an encore re-release in Japan. Um, the live action, the live action was like a big hit. Incredible. The success was, was the result of more struggles and battles than you could ever imagine. So it was a massive relief for me. The fact that a Japanese manga could win an Emmy or Academy Award someday, that would be a dream for me. Um, and he just talks about, like, oh, like, th- thanking everyone from the cast, and kidding Inyaki and Jacob Kuhn, who showed up at Jump Festa today, who all love One Piece so much. Uh, which was cool that they were um, there at Jump Festa. <laughs> like, like, dude, talk about a dream come true. Dude. Um, like you're there at Jump Festa, not only just to look at to see everything, but also like you've been invited there as like part of One Piece. Like that's probably on another level, bro. Time, time for us Paramecia acting arc. We're gonna <laughs> oh, get an yes. agent, dude. No, <laughs> so what we're gonna do? Okay, we we have riffed stuff from my brother, my brother, and me talking about podcasts within podcasts. Oh, no, no. What, <laughs> what we're going to do is riff their their other podcast, their separate podcast that they made called We Will Be in Trolls 2, where literally all the, like, the first couple episodes are just, all it is, is a phone recording of them talking to their agent on how viable of an idea this is for them, to, how they could possibly get into Trolls 2. <laughs> and I, then... We don't have that I kind of... Out. <laughs> Dear listener, I don't know if you've watched Trolls 2, but the McElroy brothers are in Trolls 2, so... <laughs> yeah, follow they have your like dreams, people. Two minutes of, of dialogue, I think. 
they have like two lines each which was their sp- in the episode of their podcast that they did they specifically told their agent that they did not want big parts that they they thought it would be funnier if their parts were like one or two lines <laughs> like bro that's but like it. isn't that real like do you do you get that i get that that's what i think that um i'm putting my money on the new what um oh my god the actor that played superman the, the man of steel superman uh henry cavill he's producing like he's full-on funding and producing and starring in and directing or whatever he's doing like everything for this uh warhammer 40k show because he <laughs> yeah. loves warhammer everybody is like convinced that he's gonna play like the high emperor and all like all these big lore characters and Mm-mm. i know for a fact that he is such a nerd for Warhammer 40k that he is going to be playing like some background f- space marine janitor named bingus and he's gonna have like Dude. one line and when they ask him about it in the interview he's gonna be like that's like my favorite character ever i had to play him and it's gonna be funny as heck in like all respect to people like that like yeah. there's just something about being an extra or or like being a background character that is so enjoyable like i remember re- remember when i did that like theater thing that, that i don't want to say explicitly um i think so in high school yeah i i walked in and was like hey i want to be an extra in this thing and the lady was like, "You you don't want to like audition. You you want to be main character one. You don't want to be main character three. I was like, "No, like, do do you need someone to play those parts? Yeah. I I'd rather just be an extra." She was like, "Well, okay, <laughs> whatever." But it was so fun, so much dude, more fun, dude. When when you know when you know the part you want. Dude, that's that's like in jazz, man. When we, we we had audition day and everyone was freaking out, and the trumpets. It was me, uh, and th- three of the other trumpet players, and that was those were the only trumpet players that tried out because we just we we were the only ones that showed up. So we were like, "Wait, what part do you want?" And I was like, "Well, I want second because I like to do the solos, and I like to, like second trumpet part usually plays the weird like harmonies, and I like that." And then my friend Nick was like, well, I want to play lead trumpet because I like to play lead trumpet. And then the other two people were like, well, I want to play fourth because like, I'm down with that. And then the other guy was like, well, I want to play third because third also plays the cool harmonies and like the they usually get like the, the other stuff. And we were like, well, that settles that. <laughs> <And> we <laughs> went up to the instructor. We're like, hey, uh, you can hand us the folders now. Like we got it. And he's like, no, you have to audition. We're like, okay. And he's like, all right, trumpet ones, who's auditioning? And only one person <laughs> stepped forward and just repeat that four times. And then he understood what was happening. And then he's like, oh, okay, here. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> so when, when you walk in already knowing like hey i want to be an extra you'd want to do sh- nope give me the extra <laughs> dude i fuck it I, I, don't do it don't how do, it. do i get an agent or acting <laughs> dude okay yeah fucking we 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 can massage things into resumes. We we need a reel, but like, fuck Dude, it, man. <laughs> he, he, here's here's what's gonna happen. What what we're gonna get into the One Piece live action, but which which background characters are we gonna play, dude? <laughs> okay, so season two not happening, right? Yeah. Season three. Okay, so season two, we're Logetown to where. Uh, I think it's probably just going to be till the end of Alabasta, I'm assuming. Right. Skypea. <laughs> Sky, yeah, Skypea. Dog. I cannot oh my God. wait to have Please. two little fucking... Oh, shit. Oh, All right, or I'll Jaya. Be, I'll be in, yeah, I'll be an extra in Jaya, or let me be Jim Henson Company. Let me be the man in the suit for holy the dog the, okay, okay, the, the, the I, dog that belongs to ohm <laughs> let, me, let me be holy <laughs> not the not, i don't want to play the character just let me be the guy in the suit 
I, no joke, no word of a lie, I think we are much closer to getting you to do that than just being extras in general by, like, getting an agent and shit. Like, Dude, we can do it. Because my, like, Adrian and I's, like, you know, they got, the like, they, they got connections. Like, connection. We're gonna, con- like, dude. NDA, we're like, <laughs> had, to, had to be like, hey, I saw Henson's company did shit for, for uh, like, Five Nights at Freddy's. And the answer was, I legally can't say anything. Like, type dude. connections. So, like. We're in there. If not, keep like, your, okay. Keep your eyes peeled. Season three, what did Paris your fat cast is in? <laughs> did we do we know who did the puppets for the snails? Uh, it was. I'm pretty sure it was the Jim Henson Company. I'm almost positive. Okay, then if that's the case, I legit have a much more of an in. Give me two weeks. <laughs> um. Yeah, it is the Jim Henson Company that did. Um. The it snails. I, it is because I talked to them about that. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, we're so in there. You're you're gonna you're gonna be the the dog, right? Um. Yeah, I want to be the man in the suit. The dog can have another actor who does all the other stuff. I just want to be the guy in the suit that walks around. I okay. I no, uh, dude. I hate the One Piece fandom. Page like fuck, dude. Hell yes, shout outs. Ganfall, right, right, right. Oh, the horse. I'm yeah. You be the dog. Yeah. I be the horse. <laughs> Hell yes, dude. No, no, we both be the horse. It's the horse, John. Oh, no, no, no we both horse. be the horse. Yes, we can both be the horse. So it, it is pet bird Pierre, <laughs> dude, and we can double dip because we can also be Blackbeard's guy's horse doctor. I think is the name, dude, because they're in Jaya, dude. It'll work. Holy shit! Holy shit, dude! I <laughs> no word of a lie. <laughs> We're in there. We we are more in than other people would think. Like, Hell yes. I let's go. That that's actually crazy. Yeah, that's wild. I, w- Adrian and I will watch the live action because they haven't watched it yet. We'll li- we'll watch the live action with them, and I'll be like, "Hey, yeah. you know, ooh, ooh, like the the the. F- this is a audio medium. I'm touching the tips of my fingers in the like ooh, ooh way. Um." Hey, could you talk to your like Henson Company friends, plural, and uh, see which one of them worked on this? Because it's definitely not under NDA any longer. Yeah. <laughs> um, when season three happens, not if when season three happens. <laughs> yeah. Get us in there, you know. Yeah, shoot us, shoot us a line, dude. It, it'll be three be years touch. from now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, man, fuck. So good. No, uh, the um, there's more Jump Festa the, stuff, right? Yeah, the last thing of of Oda's message was like, "Oh, Wano Country's ending, and Egghead is starting next year. Cool. Um, next year the anime celebrates 25 years. We have a massive project in mind for that. It'll be fun, which I'll circle back around to. But then he goes on to the manga, and he's like, "Though of course, I'll keep working hard on the manga as well." But this past year, many characters have faced many events. Truly, a terrifying world. If Luffy and the others leave Egghead safely, dot dot dot, they should yeah. be going to that island. I also considered not taking that route, but I may not be able to stop Luffy. And finally, at last, it'll happen. <laughs> the battle between that character and that character may lead to unexpected results. Onward to next year, alongside the 25th anniversary of the anime. I'll be in your care once again. Which, um, in the podcast uh, notes channel, Paramecia Flower Capital, permanent invite links in all of our social media. Um... <laughs> it's one piece fans when Oda's message in jump festa says this and that will fight and this and that will go there in 2024 and it's like the basketball like <laughs> like like winning a championship like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Like it's so it's it's so true. We we know what some of those things mean. Like this person and that person. I know for sure. I mean that place is like Elbaf. Elbaf, yeah. Um, and then this person and that person fighting dog. I have no idea. Like, <laughs> dude, it could be anyone. Yeah. Uh, Shanks and Black. No, that already happened. Luffy yeah, and Blackbeard. Luffy, yeah. Luffy and Shanks. But why would Shanks still be in El- at Elbaf? Yeah, dude, I have no idea, but it's gonna be crazy. But uh, no, talking about the massive project in mind for the 25 anniversary. Well, first, I think before, I think the announcement happened prior to Jump Festa, or maybe it was like the first day of Jump Festa. Something um, like that. Yeah, they talked about. They finally showed off more details on Monster. The, the OVA they're making for... Or I think it's like a limited series. I don't know if it's episodes or if it's just an OVA. Well, um, one thing or the other, yeah. Yeah. But the uh, the one-shot manga that stars Ryuma, that's like a prequel to One Piece. Um, or it takes place before the start of the series of One Piece. Um, uh, you know what? F it. It is a prequel. Especially because... Okay. They announced... I'm trying to find the pictures of it. But they announced the like character designs and stuff and it's going to be done by oh god so- somebody had posted about it hold on let me see let me see i don't remember uh, yeah <laughs> the, the news today has kind of wiped that from memory yeah so it's coming out oh, i forget who the studio that's doing it is is it mappa it's not mappa is it Please don't be Mappa. <laughs> they have too much going yeah, on there on, right hold now. On, hold on. Uh, Speaking uh, of, um, to cover time, Chainsaw Man movie for the Reze arc, um, still animated by Mappa. Somehow they are burning at. I was Mappa the studio. L- let's say allegedly in Minecraft that hired a sixteen-year-old. Or like uh, animation, oh, dude, I I don't remember. I, th- I think it, it and it wasn't like even in betweens or anything. It was like straight up like the 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 keyframes, like yeah, the big boy. Ch- like I don't know if that was Mappa. That happened recently though. Crazy, absolutely crazy. But yeah, um, I hope they didn't announce a date for that movie because holy fuck yeah (laughs) yeah i don't know if this is mappa i i am getting everything confused it just says that it's gonna premiere so monster is coming out on netflix in 2024 in january so like it's already like done basically um um uh oh the name the anime titled monsters 103 mercies dragon damnation centers around ryuma the renowned samurai who hails from the land of wano in one piece so interestingly i mean because there they're, it's being marketed as like no it is a like it, it, it is a prequel to one piece it is following ryuma and they're mentioning directly land of wano um but also in his character design, they like very specifically retconned his sword to be Shusui. Hell yeah. Which is like, okay, it was in, you know, obviously this came out before One Piece was even a thought in Oda's mind, but it's like, yeah, that makes sense. But the addition of that for me is getting me to wonder, um, like, is there, like, we had kind of talked about this before, like, do you think there's going to be some kind of sneaky, like, other lore heavy implication in this <laughs> With, without a doubt we're gonna get like yeah blurry like another last pixels. tail situation the eight pixels in the background though very distinctly we're, we're gonna get some sign there's gonna the 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 great 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 grandfather of the guy with nails up his nose is gonna oh, like yes. point into the background at a set of like blurry pixels and say oh my gosh is that the ancient weapon neptune or uh, <laughs> yes. whatever the fuck is the the one missing not neptune uh did not maybe uranus I, I don't know yes it's just over there like one of them yeah <laughs> oh my god 
<laughs> Could it be? That, either that or like, what? no, Ryuma is like 300 years ago, not 700, right? Honestly, I have no idea. I don't know if Ryuma was, I don't think he's from like void century times. Although maybe. It, oh, oh, do we not have an answer to this? Ah, uh, interesting that we don't have an answer to that. I wonder if it will be Ooh. solved or told to us in the new adaptation. That should be cool. Oh, um, <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that that's cool. I'm excited for Monsters. It's not Map. I think it's E&H Productions is doing the animation. Not familiar. I, I think they've worked on other Netflix series before. Um so that should be good. But the other announcement, which I think is the one that was being referenced in the Oda message, was... <laughs> so the One Piece anime is getting an anime adaptation remake called The One Piece by Wit Studio and Netflix. And from all the information we have and can gather, it's getting its own, like, brotherhood basically <laughs> like it's getting an anime adaptation of like like it's it's cleaning everything up to be closer to the manga but still like be you know in anime form which interesting <laughs> I, I think it's just something i didn't expect like at least right now but cuz we've memed about it but i definitely thought that the as funny as the joke is of like as soon as one piece ending them being like one piece 2 baby like, <laughs> i definitely would have thought that like that would be the case of like as soon as one piece ends and like the anime hits the last episode they'd be like oh like we're remaking like like the older one piece episodes in like the new art style or like we're doing like limited like see i don't know and people have always talked about it like oh i wish one piece was like seasonal kind of like my hero was yeah so, like, we can get that level of fidelity or like you know chainsaw man like we can get or demon slayer like we can get a season's worth of like like the pacing would be like everything would kind of be fixed with a seasonal structure on the anime um the pacing of the anime wouldn't be as ridiculous as it can get sometimes and like every moment would be given like all the episodes would look good you wouldn't have some of the wonky uh like <laughs> still shots uh so i i don't know it's it's a cool announcement i'm excited to see more about it i hope it turns out i'm hoping for the best of it because like i don't know i think it's a clear like easier way for people to get into one piece this way anime wise because like the manga i can just be like all right just just chapter one and hit the ground running but with the anime, it's like, oh, like, you can watch these, but you got to go to this website and you, you can kind of skip over the filler if you want to watch it, but it doesn't have anything to do with the story except for this one, which might have something. And it's like, it, you have to like jump through seven hoops to have somebody just watch one piece. And part of it is on like the person giving them the guidance because it's like, yeah. okay, like sometimes I just tell people like, man, like here's the website that skips all the filler, like. Yeah, if you just want to watch the filler. If you want to just start episode one and run with it, go. Because, uh, dude, I'll talk all day about Daddy Masterson with you, dude. But, like, but I think this is cool. Um, I don't know. We don't really like know anything else about it. I don't know what like the art style is gonna be. I mean, if if it's like Wit Studios, like classic style. I don't know if you mentioned that that was a studio. Uh. I don't remember if I did either, but yeah, Wit Studio. So, um, they Attack on did Titan most recently. Attack on Titan until like a couple years ago. Uh, Cabinary of the Iron Fort Fortress, which oh, that crazy, one's good. right? Uh, Ranking of Kings. Uh, they're doing the new oh, Suicide <laughs> Squad. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, which is funny. Um, um spy family yeah though i think that's also clover works spy um, family is a weird one it's like i don't know if they're still doing this but i remember the first season was like it was it's so weird it was like it was studio x studio it was like it was wit studio and somebody else and like every episode they would like go back and forth yes it was clover works 
and cloverworks that's what it was v- yeah very weird but that's happening a lot a lot more uh recently like i'm seeing here that um they've done the same thing with two different studios mm. olm which i don't recognize and signal md which mm, is yeah. another it's a subsidiary of production ig that doesn't really help they yeah they do that a lot um Oh, they did the new Fooly Cooly. Okay. Okay, okay. Sure. Yeah, they've done a lot of stuff. Um, Pokemon the movie, The Power of Us. That's the one where Pikachu talks, I think. You're right. You're Dude. so right. That's so funny. Dude, if they make if they make Chocho talk in this adaptation, it's it, all of this was <laughs> worth it. All of this was worth it. Absolutely worth it. I I'm excited to see like I, like i want i've always wanted to see like kind of a continuation i guess of the episode of east blue type stuff right yeah and i i'm pretty content with this substituting for that yeah yeah cuz it's like i i like those like episode ofs that the anime's been doing the toe animation but like if we could get like seasons of that, like expanding on that idea, like oh okay, here if you want to watch Skypea, it's all in one one season of anime. Yeah, and like here's the whole thing. Cool. Like they they could um, even go as far as like truncating some things from the manga, I suppose. Like yeah, similarly yeah. to how the live action is doing, just not like narrow un- unless we get a fucking episode of east blue where we get like all this fucking um garp lore dude it's episode of, it, it this new anime is an adapt an anime adaptation <laughs> of the live action <laughs> that would be so funny actually dude, it'd be amazing and then and then 2030 we get um uh we get Horikoshi Kohei coming in with the the One Piece. <laughs> yes. A manga the, adaptation. The One Piece. Oh, of the anime adaptation of the live action. <laughs> Dude, the the One Piece. And uh, the memes have been going nuts since that amount announcement everybody's playing the white beard clip everybody's playing the better call Saul actor clip where he's at the one piece the one piece is real it's it's fine he wasn't lying guys he wasn't lying on cameo it's actually real it's actually real he what does he know (laughs) okay so like i i have seen um some twitter accounts like voicing concern over the english dub uh voice actors like possibly having their roles replaced especially because it's like netflix doing this they kind of are like weird oh, yeah. about their hiring practices for voice talent so um like i hope i hope they retain the like current one piece vo- english voice staff but how fucking funny would it be if, like, an extra, we get the Better Call Saul guy? <laughs> dude, 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 what yes. if he is Ask D question? Ask D question? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what about the One Piece? Is it real? <laughs> yeah, well, what about your treasure? Ain't it real? <laughs> <laughs> arguably the most important character in the entire series bro it, that would be so funny no okay if he had never asked that go, would gold roger he would not <laughs> gold roger would not have like said anything <laughs> hear me out what if you, you know how like physical media is non-existent anymore so uh media in this current digital landscape is like impermanent it'll like disappear at a moment's yeah. fucking notice so like there's ethical reasons to preserve said media what if 
we convince everyone preserving the media to just do a, a little edit, just a tiny little edit. And when everyone goes crazy when Roger says that the One Piece is real, <laughs> we edit in faintly in the background audio, just the One Piece, the One Piece is yeah. real. <laughs> Ever so slightly layer it in. Please, archivists, pre- preservationists. We need this. I've never asked anything. I've never been fur- I've never been further down prostrating on the floor on my knees than I am right now. Ignore like 20 minutes ago Pros- when we were prostrating. Doing I think I said prostrating. <laughs> prostrating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. No. Um yes. Please. Every- everybody please do that. Yes. Um there was a couple other things from Jump Festa, like non One Piece related. I, I did mention showed, the Chainsaw I think a Man. Trailer. Yeah, Chainsaw Man is getting a, a movie. Yeah, is it good? So is it going to be like? Because I'm yeah, they're they're demon training that. Okay, okay. Because I'm like, yeah, I I forget where they left off in the first. It's been that long that I just forgot where the first season left off. Yeah, no, like the it being a Raze movie makes perfect sense it fits okay hell yeah um that's gonna be so that's gonna be so sick and then what what else did they announce uh again i don't think it was a jump fest announcement but black clover uh in the first jump giga of the year is getting like a chapter and i'm hype oh um because it moved to so it's not monthly it moved to like cause uh the author Tabata's uh, health. Yeah, he's sick. And just stuff in general has kind of been on the decline with him. We don't really know exactly what's going on, but he's had a lot of stuff happen in his personal life that like he had to kind of take a step back from the weekly like manga of it. But I mean, Jump has been Black Clover's been like really profitable for them. So of course they're like, no, like, like we'll work with you. So I mean, thank God for that. But yeah. Um, they moved him over to Jump Giga, which is like the, I don't know if it's the monthly one or it's like the quarterly one. Basically, from what I understand, he's going to be doing it like quarterly, I guess, kind of. Um, Which, to be fair, he he himself said like he doesn't have that much left anyways. So like, it's I'm assuming the by last the last start, uh, by, right? Yeah, it's like the final fight right now. And I'm assuming that like it's going to end relatively soon. Um. But hype nonetheless, because where it left off was super sick, and I'm excited. Um, what else? Blue Box. They showed like a teaser for the anime for that. That's gonna be awesome. And it's, then also Don to Don though. Don to Don. I'm. Oh, hyped did for. they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue Lock is on Netflix right now. Oh, like 100. percent I'm I'm out the game, dude. I gotta watch Blue Lock. And uh, Jump Giga is uh, quarterly. Dog, you ha- yeah. you haven't seen fucking i think mother's basement did a video about it quite a question mark i'm a uh, dude I, i'm i must be out the game dude <laughs> there's been a lot going on like i yeah i have okay we we made a joke like a month and a half ago at this point about watching the scott pilgrim thing i haven't brought it up again because yeah. <laughs> it's just been that long. I still haven't seen it. I, I plan. I Yo, legit plan to. Me neither. Yo, me neither. I had plans watch. to watch it, dude. Let's never watch it and then just make baseless assumptions. <laughs> let's go. Um. So there's that. I really, really want to watch uh Freerun. Oh yeah, Freerun is. I, I've read some of the manga of Freerun. Freerun's really good. And oh my god, dude. We're like a couple weeks away from like the first episode of uh Amatian Dungeon. Oh dude, I'm so ready. Like I I haven't talked about anime like with t- desire in so yeah. long. <laughs> 2024 is the year, baby. No, it's gonna be so sick. I do want so badly. The Don to Don anime, I feel that that anime is gonna pop off. It really, I 
I hope nothing but the best for that. Yeah. Because, like, oh, baby. They showed off, like, the character voices in the new trailer. Uh, I think the the voices fit the characters. I love the way the animation looks real clean. They captured, like, the style of the manga, which I thought was going to be kind of hard because the manga is just so clean. It really is, but, like, the the action looks so faithful. It, yeah. Like, I, I feel like people say similar things about, like, Jujutsu Kaisen and how it's been adapted. Um, I don't yeah. really have a horse in that race much, so I can't say, but, like, I, I feel like it's yeah. an easy comparison to make. And you know what? I think the hypest part of this is it's not MAPPA. Which, <laughs> yeah. I, d- I don't, like, actively pl- pray for MAPPA's downfall, but I'm like, dude, I feel for the fucking animators. They That's give them a break. exactly but it. I think it's a match made in heaven because the an- the studio that's doing Don to Don is freaking Science Saru. Dude. The weirdness of, like, if I explain Don to Don to somebody, which I have, like, you realize very quickly if you ever try to explain Don to Don to somebody that it is the strangest, most weird thing to explain to somebody. And you're just like, dude, you have to trust me. Like, he's looking for his balls. It's funny. Like, dog it's awesome there's fights that are crazy yeah like, like there's a great there's a granny like it's i i think it's so weird you had to push me over the edge to actually get to read it yeah but like the wackiness of it when you start reading it you're like oh my god like it is so like in it is so in love with its own premise that it doesn't care how stupid it gets because it's just awesome it, it's like <laughs> and, like okay the f- the fact that science saru is the one doing the anime for this is like dog there's some they're like <laughs> i love every science saru anime but there's some weird mfers dude like no kidding <laughs> and, and i dude. but i <laughs> like with all my heart i love that i okay like like fuck. they what did they they did something recently did they not do they did scott pilgrim yeah, okay yeah, yeah. Oh, I I remember what I was gonna say. Don to Don is like a special type of like takes itself seriously because okay, Dave Filoni Star Wars takes itself yeah. seriously. Parenthetical derogatory. Yeah. <laughs> Parenthetical derogatory. Yeah, when the the Force gods start coming out. Oh my god. Um, they did. Um, keep your hands off Azoken. I th- yeah. That was one of the first things, and they did some of the most recent stuff uh, in the Tatami Galaxy verse. Um, they they did the 2016 Adventure Time theme. Open. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, they did. They did. I think they did an episode for Adventure Time, like an entire episode. Oh, I remember because it it was a big the thing food chain when it happened. One. They did an entire episode for. I'm on their site. It was, yeah, it was like one of the best episodes. I remember this episode. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so a uh, Dave Filoni bad, right? George Lucas. No, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> George Lucas. Yes, even the midichlorians and the wills things included. For- Force Smurfs are cool. Fight me. Takes itself too seriously. Parenthetical, good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, good question mark. <laughs> like, Don to Don is very similar. Like, Don to Don's on a, on a, ostensibly on a razor's edge oh, of, like, yeah. one misstep. And it could yeah. very quickly become cringe. Like, there is a whole arc from where I left off reading where, like, the main kid... The main guy with the with the who has the henchin like the ghost transformation, um, he like loses his groove. Leader rider. He's like, yeah, he's like, oh, he's like, I'm like, he loses his groove. He's not as as strong, or he, he's he keeps like messing stuff up with his fight. And they're like, oh, like you're not concentrating like on this stuff or whatever. And like the whole training arc is they find themselves in this school and they're hunting these ghosts that are like 
in the music room. Yes. <laughs> and the entire thing is these musical composers are like playing this piano. These musical composer ghosts or aliens or whatever are playing this piano and like blasting them with like musical lasers. And him and the ballet girl are like like dodging the attacks and learning how to attack in sync. And it's like a whole training thing for them. Dude, It's it was so like awesome and funny at the same time. It's so good. Like media that's ready to be weird, like I I respect it at the very least. Yeah. Like not to say that it'll always be good, but the attempt is so fresh, especially in the face of like like when you take things too seriously, you just end up with uh, yeah, the fucking yeah. force gods and the time travel and us, man, uh, baby, <sighs> dude. That, when when I heard the father and the mother in Star Wars, and it wasn't talking about somebody's immediate father and mother, but in fact talking about these eldritch beings of the Force that are like created, I was like, okay, uh, hold on a minute. <laughs> like, I I'm so glad I watched Bad Batch before. Uh, and the Clone War series before I did Rebels. Re- Rebels was interesting and I liked it, but holy fuck, like that, like, so, like, sorry, that episode, th- that episode is not even fucking Rebels. That is like the last yeah. season of Clone Wars. Holy yeah, fuck. It is. <laughs> Dude, like, actually. Shut- <laughs> I we should have come to the conclusion Dave Filoni bad a while ago. <laughs> yeah. Look, I appreciate that he's given us A1 Star Wars shows, but it because because Dave Filoni parenthetical bad. Um well because Dave Filoni okay, because Dave Filoni is the way he is. He be- he begins to insert his OCs into the Star Wars universe, which is fine. Everyone loves Ahsoka. Ahsoka's cool. Uh, you know, we didn't like her at first in the Clone Wars, and then as the series went on in the animated series, we we're like, all right, actually, she's like the best character here. She's cool. And then when she was gone, everybody, much like Poochie in S- Simpsons, everybody was asking, where's Ahsoka? And so now Ahsoka's <laughs> back in like the mainstream, and everyone's like, yes, all is right with the world. And Dave Filoni's like, ha yeah, anyways, here's my other OCs. And everyone's like, wait, what? <laughs> and now there's, like, Force Gods and, and, and the Mother and... and like, why, why, why was... Dude, why? Why did that dude, it's happen? Getting kinda, <laughs> it's getting kind of weird, bro. Why? Wait, like, was that all to explain why Yoda couldn't fucking see the future with the Force or, or some shit? Like... I, I I honestly don't remember. I it, <laughs> God, gu- gun to my head. I cut I very much like phased out when that stuff started happening. I was like I can I'm explain really, so like, much. I I did not yeah, I did not really pay attention to that part in class. So so much about Star Wars lore in my brain. Yeah. But the father, the mother, I I read those articles on Wikipedia recently. <laughs> Wikipedia. Yeah. I definitely I read those articles too when presented with the idea of their existence and I tried to make sense of it and I was like I still don't really like I get it but I'm just like but I just <laughs> why like are they inserted like is it leading towards something which I I guess they're teasing stuff with it. Dude, I don't, I don't. I, from what, from what I gather, and I love how this turned into a Star Wars talk. From what I gather in the new series, there's like, basically, they're trying to find like three new, like three characters in the current timeline that are the father, the mother, and the son, or whatever. Is this happening in the Ahsoka show? I think so. I think they like Fuck reference you. it in the Ahsoka show, and I, there is a character that is like very highly like. I think it might be Ahsoka. That's like, it's not told directly to her, but it's like, oh, oh no, she is 
the mother. Like she, she she's she the is, dark side then. Like she is the new like thing of it or something. Oh um, my god. Okay. But but like they, they I already think. did that. They already did the episode where they were introduced already did that. Like that the the sister the, like there there was a sister and the brother. The 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 first there was the father and the mother, but then there's the father and the sister and and and, and, and the brother and I So maybe so maybe it's like the next in line the travel i remember I them to mentioning I talk to billy. yeah yeah i remember them mentioning that talk, talk to billy and nick con, con, consult the, the consult the, the the what is it the the um oh my god what's the word i'm even looking for con, like contact the the consult like get the, get them all <laughs> wait the senate <laughs> Yeah, contact the contact the Senate that we have for Star Wars. Like we do, we need all hands on deck. This might be an emergency. Ah, motherfuck, dude! Star Wars is crazy. How did uh, we get on force... this? I did this <laughs> with the Don science. Don Saru stuff. somehow. Yes. Yeah. Science yeah, because it Don did on the Star Wars things, right? Yeah, yeah. In the the Star Wars anime on Disney Plus, they yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that yeah they did one of them, but dude, look, Don to Don by Science Saru is gonna go nuts. They did two episodes. Yeah, um, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be wacky, and I'm here for it, and I can't wait. God, I can't wait in Don to Don. The main girl <gasps> is a cutie patootie. The main guy is a little cutie patootie. Yeah. <laughs> But god dang it, Science Saru. I know they're going to nail it out of the park with the gilf, dude. The granny. She's the best oh my character, dude. fucking god, dude. She is... She is very she easily is... a character. Like, okay, you know how... <laughs> there, was, dude, there was the we meme are... of, like, season one of Spy X Family, where all those, like, online, like, anime polls, like... Like this season in anime, like who's like the top waifu? And oh, when it yeah. was your people were like, This is the first time in ever that a woman above the age of eighteen has been here. Yep. Yep. And next year will be the second time that that's ever happened. <laughs> Cannot get a hell yeah. Dude, it's gonna be so good. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to find other Jump Festa stuff. I, I think that was pretty. Those much Those were it. the big ones, yeah. Yeah, I my hero the the next season is coming out next year, uh, right. which I think is I think isn't it? Honestly, I, it's crazy how close to the manga oh the God. anime is. It's like I think it's gonna start with. Did they animate the sniper stuff yet or no? Yes. Yeah, I think they did. So it's gonna be starting after that with like the war stuff. So like, oh my god, yeah, which is crazy to me because it's like, well, where the heck are they gonna leave off? Like, I there there are some places, but yeah, it kind of just. I mean, I mean, it's it's fucking ending. So it, yeah, like, yeah, the timing is impeccable. Yeah, which oh, it's gonna be insane, dude. Damn. Um. Um. The only thing on my docket that I forgot to bring up is um, Hollow Live and Marine tag teamed for a second Yuri music video. Oh hell yes! This time with Pekora. It's so good. It's really really good. I I was actually really touched. It it was like really really cute. Like it it's not like. On one hand, you can make an argument like it's not really Yuri because, like, at the end, it's just like a dream. But like, it's like at the same time, the most of the music video is like them <laughs> getting married and then being most married, of the video is then, the Yuri dream. Yeah, <laughs> like they're Having fucking a daughter, and daughter, <laughs> and V two per daughter insane dude bro we got yashahime ya yashahime dude we got yashahime in vtuber lore that's insane absolutely crazy dude and you know what the craziest part of that is like they own that 
they own that. If Hololive, if Hololive literally wanted to be like, oh, new VTuber announcement, guess who fell through a time hole? Pekka Marine's daughter. Yeah, they they have all of the authority and power to do so. Dude, that would be Hey guys, here's your new kid and sister. Like, like. <laughs> I that would be Marine has a little sister. Hold on. Like like for real? For, for real, for real. Oh jeez. It's happening then. I I don't think Pekora has siblings. She might. She has a brother. I believe. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she tells stories about her brother. So, Marine's little sister, who is apparently like, like, absolute, like, actually hiki. Um, like, if we get her little sister to become a VTuber, <laughs> I think the funniest possible thing would be that specific scenario. Dude, it'd be so funny. Um, dude. Speaking of VTubers, so <laughs> I was telling Billy today. I was like, "Man, just bring Uta back, dude. Like, I don't care that she <laughs> exploded in the fucking movie. Like, bring her back. And I know she can waken. You know, her power is like, oh, she awakens El Goblino. I don't care. Yeah, bring her back. Who cares? In, in in manga and anime form, bring her back. In what we were just talking about, V, bring back the VTuber. Dude. bring back i i remember that week was so awesome just watching the uta vtuber make weird videos that i had to watch with subtitles on the official youtube channel that shit was just so cool that. just bring that back man like i uh, there, there's no reason not to it, it, and like they could just continue expanding because like what they would end up doing is like reinventing the wheel and just recreating super sonico because like most people don't know she's a mascot character for a visual novel company originally to advertise the visual novels like she'd be like hey quarterly newsletter uh we're publishing this this and this basically yeah and <laughs> she got so popular that she <laughs> she became the brand but yeah like they could do that like brand ambassador uta voiced by like the voice actress whatever yeah. like it, it makes perfect blue archive does that actually um they I, I i don't remember how to like look it up but they do have like vtuber event sessions sometimes like oh boy it's gonna be a little hard for me to find this but fuck it, like have VTuber Uta talk to VTuber Nami and VTuber Robin, VTuber Perona, like a popular. There's it's the perfect opportunity to have popular oh, female dude, characters yes. that are not really ever going to show up again to just be there. It, it's it prints money. It it's it's a money printer. Give me VTuber Boa Hancock. Not for Boa Jesus. Hancock. I want VTuber Boa Hancock because that implies the existence of VTuber Salome, which is the snake. <laughs> Her little derpy ass snake. I <laughs> that would be crazy. Give me Salome as a V I'll super ch I'll re I'll Akasupa for a freaking Salome VTuber. They'll be so confused because they'll think that I'm doing it for for Boa Hancock and it was like, for Boa no, no, Hancock, no. and I'll specify like, no, this money has to go to Salome, <laughs> Salome, Salome. I don't know how to pronounce Probably it. Probably Salome. I would say Salome. Um. Oh damn! Did I fucking find it? I found it translated. Yeah. Other than that, I don't. I don't think there's really anything else from Jump Fest that it was pretty much like we covered like the big stuff. Yeah. It was like trailers for some stuff, but we uh, they showed off. Oh, they had Boruto walking around the floor. Sorry, continue. I saw they had a Boruto like mascot guy walking around. Damn, with with the scar and the shit and everything. Or I think it, I think it was just regular. I think it was outdated Boruto design. I think it was like Chapter Seven Hundred One Boruto design. That's so or Chapter Seven Hundred Boruto design because it's like, dude, like 
get with the program, guys. Like, I know that there's a time skip in this Velociraptor people. Get with it. Come <laughs> on, dude. Um, I fully intended for us to, at some point, transition back into um, what we were supposed to do, the survivor thing that Brianna mentioned. Oh, yes. But, damn, put that in the pocket. We, we have it for next time. Ne- next next break week we got it <laughs> and that gives me time to watch dropouts Sur- survivor series yes yeah ne- next break week get ready guys we got <laughs> what if one piece characters but in survivor <laughs> the, t- the the hit reality show survivor hijinks await we could script the whole thing we could probably- who knows it could be a series dude Dude, <laughs> it's gonna happen. Dude, we're gonna make the next survivor. <laughs> we're riding it right now. Dude, okay. Buggy. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> Buggy? Am I right or right? Buggy would unironically make it. <laughs> dude, he would make it the furthest. Like, he is a survivor, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> dude. <laughs> and then, like, he he would be the type of, like, popular contestant that would make it back as a host <laughs> oh yes yes dude <laughs> he would ken jennings that shit <laughs> yes that shows how much we know about fucking survivor that i had to make a jeopardy reference <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah we'll uh we'll, <laughs> we'll we'll up our survivor knowledge and uh be back with it uh next break week but uh in the meantime, you can follow us on all of our social media. We are at Paramecia Fancast, or at Paramecia Cast on Twitter, Paramecia Fancast everywhere else. Uh, as soon as the episodes are uploaded every week following the official release, they are sent to our hosting site, paramecifancast.libson.com. And as soon as they're uploaded there, you can listen to us on any of your favorite podcast platforms, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music, Google Play, any, any of the main podcast platforms you listen to podcasts on. Um, if you'd like to support the show in a free way, um, you can always, whatever platform you're listening to us on, like the show, leave, leave a subscription, leave comments on the episodes, uh, every bit of engagement, not only just for us, but all of your favorite content creators, it really does help, um, feeding the algorithm and letting it know that like, Hey, this is something that people want. Um, if you have some moolah to spare and you would like to support us, um, you can go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash paramecia. Shoutouts to, oh, can I do it? Hold on. Joe Williams, Chance, Maggie Rice, Ice Stomp, The Lost Cry Bragoon, Zach, Connor, Shock Murthy, Corey Agra, Fuddy Clam, James Sullivan, David Brownfield, Sam Thompson, Charles Ruth, Ronald Miller, and Bandle Vandal. Damn, you fucking. That was dangerously close. <laughs> you, you fucking did the fucking diaphragm shit. You, you went in deep. Yo, I, I dug deep for that one, so shout outs to all you guys. Uh remember the remember the goal is to make me have to take a breath in there, and that's when we know that we'll have made it. Um But no, shout outs to everyone on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated. Like we've said before, all the money for the Patreon goes towards getting us new equipment and making the podcast hosting site self sufficient and being able to upgrade the the monthly like hosting limit. Um, so you're probably noticing ever since we started the Patreon girthier episodes here and there, um, we just have the, the wiggle room to do that now, which is a relief and we owe it all to you guys. So thank you so much. Um, Paramisa flower capital, permanent invite links and all the social media. Uh, we have a podcast notes channel. So anything we reference in the podcast will be posted there. And then it's just a good time. We got the, the manga channel. Um, somebody on, (laughs) I think it was Vandal on Twitter posted like, uh, oh my God, what? some YouTuber drama happened and there was a lot of like redacted stuff in the statements that they shared. And then like, I think Vandal retweeted it. It was like, was like a weekly screenshot of the Paramecium manga channel. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, cause it was like, oh my God, this looks like a government redacted like document. <laughs> and it's dude it's true we we have a good community uh when spoilers come out we get we get the alert 
from somebody letting everybody know that the spoilers are out and then dog it literally looks like a redacted document like there's so many everybody is so good about spoiler warning stuff that like I unless you're like gotten, gotten or, <laughs> again yeah in a while unless uh, yeah unless you're like us where sometimes you see the black bar and your brain is like oh i must reveal i must reveal the truth um it's it's a really good channel uh to discuss the manga and then also to not get spoilered if you're waiting for the official release like we do so it's a pretty good time other than that jump fest was cool i got i got nothing uh luffy um to fight the guy to fight the elder guy luffy is gonna grab both of his eyeballs pop them out and then turn them backwards so that way he can't look him in the eyes so his power doesn't work does it have to do with eye contact hold on i have i i'm not sure i think so it's when he like looks at you because i think the yokai we i think we talked about on the episode i'm pretty sure the yokai is like if it looks at you it's it's stare is what like freezes you oh i don't remember talking about this it's 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 stare like well okay it's stare like freezes you in place or something but in the manga it's stare like <laughs> he shoots like these eye beams that like <laughs> what, what's the jojo explanation he pressurizes the liquid in his eyes and it shoots out in a beam faster than the speed of sound and then <laughs> like yo crazy that you had <laughs> <laughs> That I had the JoJo explanation for eye beams, yeah. <laughs> what if we learned something useful instead, like medicine? <laughs> what if, what if we? 